Mr. President, for nearly four decades, the Iranian government has tried to eliminate the Baha'i community as a viable entity. In the process, it has committed large-scale human rights violations. Today, arrests, arbitrary detention, long-term imprisonments, unfair or mock trials, home raids, confiscation of belongings, harassment, physical and verbal abuse, and pressure to recant their faith remain the day-to-day -day lot of thousands of Iranian Baha'is. Moreover, a campaign of incitement to hatred has led to a rise in the number of suspicious killings of Baha'is, in which the perpetrators have yet to face justice, let alone to be condemned. Although these archaic methods have raised the concerns and remain under the scrutiny of the international community, the Iranian government has recently stepped up its persecution of the Baha'is, adding more covert and less quantifiable tactics to this already long list. Despite all their claims to the contrary, the Iranian authorities are still barring access to higher education for Baha'i youth, ultimately depriving three generations of Baha'is of highly qualified employment. But even this does not seem to be enough. With the institutionalized denial of work in the public sector, now the, the government has also launched a systematic plan to close Baha'i shops. This campaign aims at the slow suffocation of an entire community. Do we know of any other government that plans to promote poverty among its own citizens? Mr. President, the Iranian representatives repeatedly stated that Iran is committed to respecting human rights. However, the rhetoric used outside of Iran clearly contradicts what happens inside the country. This latest desperate search for new tactics, tactics is a case in point. Thank you.